Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, instead of a plan with me, I'm actually going to be doing a product review for the Parku Dual Tip Art Marker. There are 48 plus one <laughs> markers in this because there is a blender included. It doesn't actually fit in the case, so you have to sort of label, lay it on top and squish it between the markers. So first things first, is this card which I have problems with. I love though that on the back it gives you space to put a little mark from the marker next to the list of marker names so that you can have this to refer to when you're coloring or when you're using the markers to know what it looks like on paper. Before I get into this though I do want to say um, my one issue with these pens is they bleed, and they bleed a lot. So if you're trying to use them for a planner, unless it's really thick paper, it's probably a no-go. What these are more useful for is art and adult coloring books, like the one I have here. So if you want to see what they look like on paper, you can skip to the end of the video where I color a full page in this coloring book to show you how it works. Now these are dual tips, they have the highlighter end, which I am putting on the card, and then the skinny end, which I am writing out the colors with on top. Now on the sheet that they give you, it says, um, where is it? Would you recommend these for adult coloring book or will it bleed through profusely? And the answer said, these are great for adult coloring book, Honestly, any marker will bleed through. Our suggestion would be to put a couple pieces of paper behind the page you are coloring so it doesn't bleed through the next page. I have an issue with that because um, it feels like gaslighting, honestly. It's like, oh, well, any marker would bleed through. And it's like, that's not true. I have lots of markers that don't bleed through. Um, I feel like instead they should say something like, well, the quality of our colors is such that like we wanted to put emphasis on making a solid, beautiful color when you use it rather than focusing on whether or not it bleeds through. So yes, it does bleed, but we think that the vibrant colors are worth it or something like that to make it sound positive and not just be like, oh, you're asking too much if you're asking for a marker that doesn't bleed through. Now you can see these colors are very beautiful and I do love that they give you the card the one thing though is I'm a little confused by some of their labels. Um, you can sort of see that most, for the most part it goes from like a dark red to a pink to an orange back to a little bit of light pink and it seems like it's going through the rainbow but then you have random colors that seem completely out of place or colors that say they're one color and are not. So there is number 49 which says it is a pastel green and is actually a yellow and there is number 75 which is called dark blue light which is a very very light purple color not blue at all not even like a periwinkle it's it's literally light purple but they call it dark blue light i don't know what that's about Now I've been using these for a few weeks now and I do really love them. I've started using them in this coloring book and when the colors dry, they are absolutely beautiful. And they it's the closest to having a marker that looks like I printed out the picture with like printer ink rather than, oh, I used a marker. I would love to get more just for the purpose of coloring. And I have been using them in my budget planner, not the Clever Fox one. It does bleed through that, but I've started printing out pages from the Budget Mom and her Budget by Paycheck workbook. And I've been printing one-sided and just using a very pretty pattern on the back of it. And um, so it does bleed through those pages, but she emphasizes highlighting to keep track of your spending and your spending categories. So we've been using it for that and it works 
beautifully and again the colors are so vibrant and I'm not so worried about the pages bleeding through. Now I can go through and list off the colors for you. Number one is Wine Red. It's a very dark, dark brown. I wish it had a little bit more of a red tint to it, but it's one of my favorite markers for sure. Number three is the Rose Red. Five is Cherry Pink. Eleven is Carmine. Fourteen, Vermilion. Seventeen, Pastel Pink. 18 is peach, 22 is French vermilion, which has been another favorite of mine in the autumn coloring book because it's a very vibrant, pretty orange color. Number 26 is pastel peach, 27 is powder pink, 28 is fruit pink, 47 is grass green, 48 yellow green, 49 pastel green, 51 dark green, 52 deep green, 55 emerald green, 58 mint green light, 59 pale green, 63 cerulean blue, 64 Indian blue, 65 ice blue, 66 baby blue, 68 turquoise blue, 70 royal blue. Um, then that's where you get the weird 75 dark blue light color, but then it gets right back into the flow with 76 as sky blue. 82 is light violet, which is actually very dark purple. 83 is lavender, and then we get into the browns. So 92 is chocolate, 93 is burnt orange, 94 brick brown, 95 burnt sienna, 97 rose beige, 98 chestnut brown, 101 yellow ochre, 102 raw umber, 120 black, and then it seems like that was, I don't know, their first run of colors, and then you start getting things that are totally different. And the thing that I love about these markers and the ones that they chose to put in here is there are so many shades of brown um, and there's so many shades of gray. And those are the two colors that I always wish I had more shades of because if you're, as you'll see in the picture, if I want to do a bunch of leaves, I want different shades of brown. If I'm gonna do something like there's smoke and then there's whatever I want different colors of gray and there's cool gray and warm gray and you'll see how beautiful those are but after 120 it looks like it's sort of their pastel line and these colors are very beautiful together there is 138 light pink 147 pale lilac 174 spring dim green and 182 frost blue my favorite marker in this kit is BG5. So it seems like they label their grays as like BG for blue gray, CG for cool gray, and WG for warm gray. And they gave me one blue gray, which is BG5, and it's so beautiful. Because, um, I mean, that's sort of one of my favorite colors. I just never refer to it as that. Um, with like that light, light blue, but with like a deep gray color underneath it. It's beautiful. It's basically what my whole bedroom looks like. It's what my wall looks like, all of it. And then we get the cool grays. There's CG1 and CG4 and CG6. And you get two warm grays, WG1 and WG5. So those are the colors that I would really love to get more shades of because I have discovered that I really love using neutral colors when I am coloring or even when I'm planning. Um, so I definitely do recommend these markers for coloring books. In this book, there's only artwork on one page and the back page is black. And even still, you do want to put a paper between them and the next page because they really do bleed through. However, I think that the color quality can be worth it. There's something very therapeutic about coloring and then looking at how beautiful the color turns out. Another thing I want to note is that when you start coloring, it does dry a different shade than it colors so it may look darker or lighter at first than it will end up 
which is why it's very useful to have this reference card that they included. So, at the end of the day, I, I feel bad because I know they wanted me to review it for my planner, presumably, and it just doesn't work with planners. That's just the truth of it, unless you print on really thick paper. But they are very high quality markers, and so I don't want to like hate on them in that regard. And they did send me these to review specifically. But I really love them, and I've thought about getting them for my sister for the holidays because she really loves coloring um, and has so many coloring books and things, so I think she would love it. I've been using them with the kids that I nanny, and they love it, except it doesn't wash super easily. You need to use cleaning product and stuff. Um, Mulder agrees. <laughs> my cat oh man and and so they're not super washable I, I don't know if they intend them to be washable it doesn't say that they do um, yeah so there are some there are definitely some caveats but if you want really vibrant color when you're coloring on your like adult coloring books and stuff like that it's beautiful one other thing to reference and there you can see on the page how it bled through onto the back so I needed to get a fresh page in order to continue doing my list. The other marker they included is the blending marker. When I have the coloring at the end of this video I experiment with it a little both with starting with the blender marker and then coloring on top of it or coloring and then blending using the blending marker on top. My tip is to actually have like a laminated piece of cardstock or I could even do it on like the front cover of this coloring book or on the lid of the marker container, something plastic that won't absorb the marker. And instead of trying to blend on the paper that you're actually coloring on, color 